you know, drums and drum circles unite people of all ages, sexes, uh, uh, backgrounds, nationalities. Occupy Pride represented at the Dyke Parade this weekend where thousands of lesbians and their supporters took to the streets to show their pride. A colorful display of outfits, flags, and fabulous glitter Manhattan. But all was not well in the land of rainbow. The Gay and Lesbian Community Center won't allow queers against Israeli apartheid meet at the center. We're a queer group and they don't let us meet at the center. Is that you know, the, the, you know every one of our problems that we face as a society is is related to money, greed, competition, and profits. Together with my John brothers and Easter, sisters, drummer uh, and that, activist, you know, there to support I'm proud the of what they are, what effort. they do, um, and I'm here to support them 100%. Uh, for many activists that are a part of this movement, finding work is next to impossible with a revolutionary rap sheet. Unable to find work because of his political ideology, John is eaten by on a meager savings that are rapidly being exhausted. Despite his financial woes, he is still gamely supporting the cause of Occupy and says he will do so until the money runs out. What we need to do as an organization now is combine our efforts uh, and try to build a self-sustainable community. Um, that's a place where, where the occupiers could go, sleep, live, learn how to be self-sustainable, uh, maybe work with other, other uh, intentional and self-sustainable communities to try to build a parallel system. That's what we during the parade, organizers form a security barricade between protesters and traffic. This security barricade had lots of gaps and breaches and was a rather ineffective manner of securing safety. Activists that are a part of the movement deserve a support system that will hold weight. If you like John and support his message, please feel free to drop him an email or like him on Facebook.